In today's world, IT teams need to provide maintenance and support remotely, and users need to be able to access data from wherever they are. But when the wrong technology is used to make this happen, it can open up any organization to unnecessary risks. That's the case with Remote Desktop Protocol, or RDP. It lets the user connect to and operate computer and network resources remotely. RDP is great for internal support, but becomes especially risky as soon as it's more widely used or discoverable over the public internet. With the quick transition to remote work and RDP being readily available, many companies misuse the technology by making it their primary option for remote access. This makes things easy for authorized users, which is great, but it's also discoverable to anyone with an internet connection, which is bad. Some organizations add extra protection by making users log in through RD Web or RD Gateway. Unfortunately, this approach is not the most secure option, and it's still discoverable over the internet, making the organization an extremely attractive target for cybercriminals. The issue is so widespread that RDP was identified in Coalition's most recent Cyber Threat Index as the number one attack vector that cyber attackers are scanning for and actively looking to exploit. Finding RDP connections on the web is like finding a screen door with a pickable lock protecting your network. And if the RDP version is out of date or it's not patched, the problem's even worse. RDP is so risky that Coalition requires RDP and its related services to be removed from the public internet before we bind or renew a policy. Okay, that's enough bad news. What can you do about it? Well, the good news is that RDP can be removed from the internet and you can still give remote access to users. There's lots of alternatives to consider, but a few could be switching to a virtual private network or VPN with multi-factor authentication, or exploring more robust long-term alternatives like identity and access management solutions, secure access service edge solutions, or zero trust network access. But this can sometimes get pretty technical, so the best next step is to check out Coalition Control to see the recommendations for how to remove RDP from the web, as well as explainers and technology recommendations. Brokers and policyholders can connect directly with Coalition Security Engineers and Security Support Center for additional guidance. Keeping your business safe matters. At Coalition, we're here to help.